So a vector has an effect in any direction except the one which is at right angles to it. That's very important. Sometimes a vector has two independent effects which need to be isolated. So here you have a boat, okay? And you have the velocity of the boat acting in that direction and you have the velocity due to the water current but the actual velocity is in that direction. Just as the combined effect of two vectors acting on a single object can be calculated, two separate effects of a single vector can be found by splitting the vector into two components like we have here. Provided that the directions of the two components are chosen to be at right angles, which we have, each one has no effect in the direction of the other, so they are considered to act independently. Because if you think about it, the velocity of the water current is not going to be due to the velocity of the boat, so they are independent of each other. So the process of splitting a vector into two components is known as resolving or the resolution of the vector. So let's take another diagram. Okay, so we have a post or a radio mass. Let's make sure that's on the ground. And we can say that this pole is held up by a rope at an angle theta. And so this diagram um, shows the tension in the rope, T, in a cable holding a radio mast in place. The force is pulling the mast both vertically downwards and vertically, yeah, vertically downwards and horizontally to the left. Okay, well, what do you mean by that? Well, you have your tension acting in that direction, so therefore you could say we split this vector into two components, you have your vertical tension acting downwards and your horizontal component we could call TH. Okay? And that's at an angle. Alright? So to find the effect of the tension in horizontal and vertical directions, T can be split into two components shown as TH, the horizontal component, and TV, the vertical component in the diagram. You should check that according to the rules of vector addition, TH plus TV should equal T, which is this one here. Okay? So, here are some important points about the resolution of the vector. It says to find the magnitude of TH and TV, the following rules apply. So the first one is the component of a vector T at an angle theta to its own angle is A, or sorry, T cosine theta. The comp second one is the component of a vector T at an angle 90 degrees minus theta to its own angle is T sine theta. So let's go over that. So we have our, let's draw that diagram again. We have our tension and then we have our TV at an angle here. At theta, then we have our horizontal component. So it says the component of a vector t at an angle theta to its own angle is t cosine theta. So this must be t cosine theta. Okay, and that's our vertical component. Then it says the component of a vector t at an angle 90 degrees minus theta. So 90 degrees minus theta is this angle here. Yeah, this one here. This must be t sine theta. So we get the horizontal component is equal to t sine theta and the vertical component is t cosine theta. Okay, so that's our vertical component. 
cosine 32. Okay, so I hope that makes sense to you. So now we're going to go over a couple of worked example, a couple of worked examples I show you. So there's some questions. I'll go over the solutions and answers. So if you want to have a crack at that and pause the video and then play it again when you want to see the answers and solutions. So welcome back. Question one says, work out the resultant of the two vectors and the angle of the resultant force measured from the 10 Newton force. So how do you do that? So the resultant is going to be this. Okay. That was a bit off. So let's draw that vector like that. So the resultant is going to be this hypotenuse if this is a right angled triangle. So work out the resultant of the force. So all you do is you take the square root of 10 squared plus 4 squared. Okay? So the answer is 10.8 newtons. So we can write 10.8 newtons. Alright? Then it says, work out the angle of the resultant force measured from the 10 newton force. So it's this angle here. So if you remember what we did last time, we take the inverse tangent, okay, of 4, your vertical, divided by 10. And that should give us 22 degrees. So if you got that, well done. Okay. Excellent. So let's go on to question two. If, I, if you haven't done question two already, pause the video. So a car is being towed with a rope inclined at 20 degrees to the horizontal. The tension in the rope is 350 newtons. Work out the horizontal and vertical components of the tension in the rope. So, let's say that's the, uh, the back of a lorry, which is towing the car, and we have our tension at an angle of 20, 20 degrees to the horizontal. So this is going to be the horizontal. That's at 20, yeah, 20, 20 degrees, and this is your tension here. So it says, what, uh, this is T is 350 newtons. So it says, work out the horizontal and vertical components of the tension of the rope. So we just did this earlier. So we have our vertical component of T and our horizontal component of T. Our horizontal component of T, TH, is equal to T cosine theta, which is 20 degrees. TV, the vertical component of the tension, which is this one here, is going to be T sine of 20 degrees. Okay, and so here are the answers. The horizontal component is 329 newtons, so T cosine 20 is 329. And finally, the vertical component is 120 newtons. So well done if you got them all right. And I hope that video is useful for you. This is all about vectors, what you need to know for A-level. So that's it about vectors. So I hope to see you in the next video.